and make sure that your audio and video is seen and heard by your viewers. Actually, uh, yes, so uh, in this video, we'll show you how to go live and not do what I just did. So stick around for more information about vMix alerts. So let's face it, we've all been there. You're self-producing a show, you're producing a show for someone else, you've been called in to produce a show, and then they're ready to go, you hit that stream button, and you wanna go live to your captive audience. Unfortunately, you forgot to turn on your microphone input so they can't hear what you're saying. In an ideal world, you'll always remember to turn on your microphone or your master audio or have a trigger to turn on the audio at the end of your introduction video. But sometimes you just forget or you're in a hurry and you just don't remember to turn it on. Now in vMix 24, we've added a new alert section in the settings. Now currently there are two available for use in vMix, one that will alert you if you don't have any audio for a certain period of time, and the other one will let you know if fade to black is activated. Now these will appear on your vMix interface and they'll also appear in the multi-view. They're not going to be shown to your audience. So let's take a look at a couple of the options. So if we go up to the settings menu up here, we can click on it or we can use this little drop down and select alerts here. So here we have the vMix settings menu. As you can see uh, up the top here, we have the volume alert. Now this, when selected, will display an alert on the user interface and the multi-view when the volume drops below a certain level for a certain period of time. Now by default, it's set to five seconds, which is a good starting point. You don't wanna make it too short or you'll constantly be reminded that you don't have any audio when you're just taking a breath or you know thinking about something important to say. Now you can also adjust obviously the decibel level here depending on you know your production how high how hot your audio is and that sort of thing so you can set that up there as well so i'm just going to tick this box up the top here and we're going to test it out so we'll go down to okay and i'm just not going to say anything for five seconds so there we go there's the low volume now if i constantly talk over that particular level, uh, it's not gonna come back on again. So that's the warning that you'll receive uh, as an alert in vMix to let you know you don't have any audio. Okay, so I'm just back in the alert section here in the settings of vMix. Now I've turned off the volume alert, I've unselected it and clicked okay, and then come back in. And now we're going to set up the fade to black alert. Now fade to black is a an option in vMix that allows you to fade out your production. So like it will go to black video and it will kill your master audio as well. So this FTB button here, it's usually used for like an end of a production when you finish and you just wanna fade out uh, and then before going to a post show or just to easily fade out your production and stop the stream. So I'm gonna show you how you set up this alert here. So basically, uh, when you tick this box here, uh, it will display alert within vMix on the interface here and also on the multi-view. Now when you do press this button here, it will flash but this alert will now display on the interface and the multi-view. So if you have a technical director who's doing all of their switching decisions from the multi-view, they'll now see that and not wonder why no one's seeing or hearing their video and audio. Uh, they'll have an alert to be like, oh, fade to black is on, please switch that off if you do have that on for some reason. All right, so I'm going to tick this box here and then I'm going to click OK. Now, when I activate fade to black, uh, Obviously, you won't be able to hear me. Uh, you'll see the alert up here as well, and the output will go black, but I'm just gonna show the interface here. So I'm gonna turn it on. So that's how you can set up that fade to black there in vMix to have an alert. Now in the alert section up here, um, you'll notice that we have two alerts. Uh, if you have both of those set, uh, then fade to black will override because it's pretty much you know, disabling your entire production because you can't see any video or audio. So uh, the fade to black alert will take prominence over the volume alert. All right, so I'm just gonna turn these off because I'm gonna forget and I'll have flashes up on my interface. And uh, yeah, so we have plenty more room to add more alerts. So there might be more options there in the future. So it might not just be audio and fade to black. Uh, any new alerts should be fairly self-explanatory though. Uh, they will be alerting you of something. So if you do want to contact us, if you've got a good idea for an alert, drop us an email via the contact page on vmix.com. If you do have an idea, make sure that you fully think it out. Uh, make sure that you've got a good use case for it. Give us an example of how it might've affected you in the past and you need an alert to remind you of something uh, particular. 
uh, how you how you would want it to work uh, and yeah kind of give us a good explanation as to why you think it should be implemented in vmix if we do get some good ideas then we may be able to add them in future updates so thanks for watching and we'll stream you later now that you've reached the end of this video here are a couple of other things that might tickle your fancy if you like to keep up to date with vmix videos don't forget to subscribe to our channel for a free 60-day trial of vmix pro head over to vmix.com